Yo, yo, yo. What's good with it, everybody? Welcome back to A1 Who Zone. Back at y'all another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Let's dive into it, man. So, again, we're kicking off day one of the NBA playoffs. Let's go ahead and get into this, John, man. We got the number four C versus the five C. We got the four C sitting at the Cleveland Cavaliers. Five C is in New York Knicks. Um, battle in the East, man. Should be a very intriguing and interesting game. Um, can't wait to see it, actually. One of those games in the East where it's saying, are the Knicks back or, or, or are we just getting, you know what I'm saying, a Knicks team that was able to make it to the playoffs comfortably and they look good, but, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to be able to play the part. You know what I'm saying, what, what type of Knicks team are we going to see that's going to show up? Ken, is, is uh, Brunson, you know what I'm saying, is he the difference maker that they needed? You know what I mean? Is, is Julius Randle, I know he's expected to make his return. So, again, they're getting their other, you know what I'm saying, big, big other player back. They're going to need R.J. Baird to play uh, big as well. Um, but, again, man uh, – this Knicks team that they're extremely scrappy. They get after it. You know what I mean? Like they, they don't really give up. Um, they're very tenacious. I was on both sides of the ball, obviously again, led by, by uh, Brunson, their, their point guard, man, a hundred million dollar man. And so it's like, he, he plays extremely poised. And uh, obviously uh, just hearing, you know, the turmoil that's going on with the Dallas Mavericks and things of that nature has, it seems like his presence is missed. Uh, you know what I mean? But Hey, you, you, you live and you learn, right? Uh, he made a decision that was best for him and his family, man, and look where they're at now. You know what I mean? So, um, but we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see how they're going to match up against this Cleveland Cavaliers team. And this Cavs team, um, obviously with the addition uh, of bringing in, um, you know what I mean, uh, Donovan Mitchell, um, who is one of the, you know, marquee players in this league, big name, uh, obviously um, has made big-time plays and big-time moments as well. Um so uh, this is definitely not going to be anything new to him. But he's, you know, with, with, along with his deadly backcourt mate, man, Darius Garland, balling out of control as well, man. Um, obviously, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, uh, the veteran Danny Green made made his debut. Ricky Rubio, again, another veteran guard. Um, this is going to be a tough matchup for the Knicks, man. I feel like uh, the Cavs have a roster that is built to be able to not only run with the Knicks, but to to also score in a different, you know, a multitude of elements as well. You know what I mean? Um so yeah, we, we definitely got to see. Definitely got to see because, like I said, the, the the Knicks, man, they're they're they're. I wouldn't say front heavy as far as their roster is, is concerned, um, but they definitely obviously lean a lot on uh, Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and R.J. Barrett. Um, obviously, they still got D. Rose, they're the veteran guard, gets minimal minutes. They got Emmanuel quickly there. They lean a lot on him. The pickup of Josh Hart has been huge. Um, their rim runner Mitchell Robinson is making his presence known again. And, um, you know, outside of that, man, when you, when you look at the rest of it, you know, only one you can say that that they look at teams can kind of scheme for and, and be on the lookout for probably is Quentin Grimes and Evan Foyer. But Foyer doesn't get any minutes. Quentin Grimes definitely has, his minutes are increasing uh, just because, um, you know, Quentin Grimes has been at a small four, man. He can, he can shoot and attack the rim. You know what I mean? And he's very aggressive. So outside of those two people, they don't really have much as far as like a bench that people are, are too concerned about. And I, I think that's one of the things when I look at it that that leaves me a bit weary at, at leaning towards, you know, picking the Knicks, at least to win game one to see how they come out. Um, you know what I mean? So with that said, though, for game one, my prediction, I got the I got the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, taking game one. And also I have them winning this series, but I have I have Cleveland taking game one on this one, man, looking to send a message and, and let it be known, man. But again, would I be hard pressed, shocked or surprised if the Knicks found a way to win? No. Because they're like I said, they're they're not a bad team. It's just a matter of being able to make you know what I'm saying, make the shots, make timely shots, uh, taking care of the ball, and getting some stops. You know what I mean? They got to keep up with the scoring uh, of the Cavs. You know what I mean? Because they got a player on that team that's already one off for seventy himself. So you got to you, you definitely got to be very very cognizant of, of uh, Donovan Mitchell and, and you know what I'm saying, keeping him under control as best as you can. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch y'all on another one, man.